we got my 700 EFI Articat TRV Cruiser. So this is a Suzuki motor. Um, we've had a lot of issues with the voltage regulators. The last one that I had on here would uh, discharge the battery. It had a, uh, one of the diodes was bad in it, so it would constantly discharge the battery, uh, which was never any fun. This one overcharges the battery. Um, and I'll show you on the screen here what it comes up for the, um, on the screen for when it has a uh, bad regulator. And then we'll also go through and check the battery to show you um, what kind of readings we get, and then we're gonna install the new one. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me. We're gonna, there we go. See how it went from the mileage the screaming volt. Now I have been able to override that a little bit and make it last longer by turning on my auxiliary LED bar and turning the lights to all the way to on. So that tends to use up enough voltage at this point. So if you're having this problem, you're seeing that volt sign, I would turn on all of your accessories you can, just so you don't over voltage everything. But you can see if I, I that was me turning off the lights, it instantly goes to volt. I relocated my battery to up to here because I was having battery issues and it seemed like a way better way to do it. Try to get this so you guys can see the volt gauge here. Yeah, see we're showing 17 and a half volts, which is, uh, way too much and that's still with the LED bar on so what we're going to change it out with is I found this one at Dennis Kirk the RM stator uh, RM 30801H but this is a MOSFET regulator rectifier supposed to be the more heavy duty and everything else it does come with the, the extra plug if you burnt yours up. So that's kind of nice. Mine is actually in good shape, so I don't have to worry about that. And then this is a two part. So there's the heat sink and the, um, more of the regulator and the rectifier separated. So we're gonna install this. On this one, it is underneath it is right underneath here, so it should be a quick, should be just a quick uh, change out here. And I did already have this loose, so. And I can tell you, which is kind of surprising, I've never actually tested this. But this thing has only been running for a minute and uh, it's already hot. Running for a minute is already hot to the touch. That's 135 degrees, 140 degrees in here. Heat sink is doing its job, but on the back side it is hot. So obviously this was uh, no longer working. I think this was a cheap reproduction. So this time we didn't go with the cheap one, we went with the best one we could get. And here's the, you can see the differences. Not a whole lot of difference in the regulator itself. The reason why I know this is the regulator is just um, for the simple fact that it does have the cooling fins on it because 
to get rid of electricity you have to burn it off somehow and usually it's done in heat and then there's this part of it so we'll get this mounted up um, this will bolt into the same holes like it was this will have to find a way to uh, zip strip it or something to the frame that up in there. That side. See the extra washer. And as simple as just a click to get that box mounted. Well, let's see if it works, then we'll get yep. the other part of it. can see what we got standing voltage 14 still really high turn on the LED light here and see if we can suck off some of this voltage there it's coming down Okay, we turn the LED light off. There we go, 14.2, 14.3. Those are the numbers we're looking for. You even see it bouncing around a little bit. That's perfect. Awesome, no more volt light. No more worrying about burning up the ECU. And no more code on the dash. This. So here's the box, here's the plug. It said no problem there, it's just figuring out how we wanna mount this. To keep it from being an issue.
don't mind it up here like this, but I don't really have a good way to strap it to there. Yeah, I think if I just hold those wires over there, we'll be all good. Well, it's just a little too short. So here's the long one. So I'm going right on the edge of it, kind of grabbing the plug just on the very edge of it so it doesn't slip off. voltage regulator the new style or the heavier duty style hooked up and ready to go hopefully this helps out somebody thanks a lot